okay guys i welcome you all to engineers academy do subscribe my channel if you haven't done it yet now we are going to solve this problem which says that the roller at a is moving with a velocity of 4 meter per second and it has an acceleration of 2 meter per second square when x a is equal to 3 meters determine the velocity and acceleration of the block at this particular instant so when this collar is at a distance of 3 meters it is having velocity of 4 meter per second and acceleration of 2 meter per second square so at that particular instant we are required to determine the velocity and acceleration of this block b so first of all we have to define our reference lines are our datums right so the x a is the position of that that roller a is measured in this direction so this is the x a so this is the position vector of collar a and for block b this is our datum line and its position is measured in this direction this is the position vector for block b and let's say this is x b so now if let's say that somewhere here is let's say let's say that here we have point c so now since it's a dependent motion so we have to write the equation for the length of the rope so the length of the rope is equal to this this ac length plus this xp length so we will write that ac plus xb this is equal to the length of the rope and as we can see that this ac is the hypotenuse of this triangle let me draw a triangle we have this triangle so this length is 4 meters from here to here this length is 4 meters this is q1 this is given right this is 4 meters and this is xa and this xa will change as the roller will move from this reference line this xa will change so this ac length is the function of this S, uh, of this xa length so now by using the pythagoras theorem we can say that ac square is equal to xa square plus that 4 square uh, or we can say that this AC length is equal to x a square plus 4, squ 4 square under the square root this is 4 square under the square root or we can say that this is x a square plus 16 under the square root so now we can write that this is x a x a c is x a square plus 16 under the square root plus x p equals to that the length of the rope so now this is let me write that this is x a square plus 16 to the power 1 divided by 2 plus x b equals to the length of the rope and now if you want to find the relationship between the velocity of a and the velocity of block b we have to take the derivative of this equation so if we take the derivative of this equation so the derivative of this term will be 1 divided by 2 x a square plus 16 and 1 divided by 2 minus 1 so that will give us minus 1 divided by 2 so this is minus 1 divided by 2 and then we have to take the derivative of this term which is inside the bracket so this is 2 x a and x a dot and then the derivative of x b will be x b dot and this will be equal to 0 since the length of the rope is not changing so now we can simplify this this is we can write that this two will cancel out and we will be left with x a into x a dot divided by x a square plus 16 if we bring this term to the denominator so its power will become positive and so we will have x a square plus 16 to the power 1 divided by 2 and this is x b dot and this is equal to 0 so now x x a dot is v a and x b dot is v b so now we can write that x b dot this is equal to minus x a x a dot divided by x a square plus 16 1 divided by uh, to the power 1 divided by 2 so now we can write that x this x p is v b uh, x b dot is v b and this x a dot is v a so using this equation we can find the velocity of block b and it is said that when x a is 
we have to find this VB when XA is equal to when XA is equal to 3 meters and when VA is equal to 4 meter per second so now we can find we can put all those values in this this is VB minus XA is 3 VA is 4 and xa is 3 square plus 16 to the power 1 divided by 2 so this will give us vb so this is minus 3 into 4 divided by 3 square is 9 plus 16 to the power 1 divided by 2 so this is 1 divided by 2 this gives us vb equals to minus 2.4 meter per second so now when that roller when this roller a is moving with the velocity of 4 meter per second in this direction so block b is moving in the with the velocity of 2.4 meter per second in the upward direction so the negative signs tells us that it is moving in the opposite direction of this xb so the block b is moving in the opposite direction that is with the velocity of 2.4 meter per second in the upward direction Now to find the relationship between the acceleration of the roller and the acceleration of the block we have to take one another derivative of this equation. So we have this equation which relates the velocity of B uh, with respect to the velocity of A. So then we have to take one another derivative of this equation. Uh, let's say if I multiply both sides of equation by, by this denominator so we will have the equation like this. So this will be x a square plus 16 to the power 1 divided by 2 into v b this will be equal to minus x a into v a and now if we take the derivative of both side of equation with respect to dt so that will give us the relationship between the acceleration of the roller and the block respectively so now since we have two terms here so we we need to apply the product rule so for product rule we we have to write that this will be x a square plus 16 to the power 1 divided by 2 and the derivative of v b with respect to time this is v b d v b by d t so this d v b by d t is the acceleration with of block b so we have to write that this is a b and then we have to take the derivative of the second term so we have to write v b and the derivative of the second term will be 1 divided by 2 x a square plus 16 and 1 divided by 2 minus 1 will be minus 1 divided by 2 and then the derivative of this inside brackets right so this will be 2 x a and then d x a divided by dt so d x a divided by dt is the velocity of a this is v a so we will write that this is v a into this and we have to write we have to take the derivative of these two terms again we have to apply the uh, the product rule so then this will be we have to write that uh, this is minus x a and the derivative of uh, v a with respect to time will give us the acceleration of a and then we have to write minus v a and the derivative of x a with respect to time will give us v a so that will be v a into v a or we can say that this is v a square so now we we know this relationship of v b with respect to v a so here we have v b so we have to substitute this v b v b here in this equation so now i will write this is first this two will cancel out so we will be left with this and now I will replace this VB, this VB by this, right? Let's say that we want to replace that. So now we have to write it here. So plus this plus into minus will become minus since VB is minus. So we, now we will have minus sign here. And now if we if we bring this term to the denominator, so its power will become positive. So let me write it like this. This will be this will be 1 divided by 1 divided by x a square plus 16 to the power 1 divided by 2 and if we multiply both of these so they will become x a square plus 16 to the power 1 
so this will be we will be left with this and now if we multiply uh, this term if we multiply this with this so we will get x a square plus v a square so now we are left with this very simple equation now if i multiply this whole equation with x a square plus 16 so we will be left with let me write it this is x a x a square plus 16 1 divided by 2 into x a square plus 16 into a b minus x a square divided by v a square divided by x a square plus 16 into x a square plus 16 this will be equal to minus x a into a a into x a square plus 16 minus v a square into x a square plus 16 so now if we if we look into this whole equation so this will cancel out this will cancel out and here this is x a square plus 16 to the power 1 so the so the power of both of these will add up this power will add up so we will have 1 divided by 2 plus 1 so this will give us 3 divided by 2 so we can write it as this will be x a square plus 16 to the power 3 divided by 2 into the acceleration of block b minus x a square divided uh, into v a square this is equal to minus x a the acceleration of a x a square plus 16 and if we multiply this v a square inside if we multiply this inside the brackets so this will be minus x a square v a square minus 16 v a square so this will cancel out on both sides of the equation so we will be left with we will be left with with this equation like this so now since we want to find the relationship we want to find the acceleration of block b so we need to divide both sides of equation by x a square plus 16 and we will have the equation like this. This will be x a square plus 16 uh, to the power 3 divided by 2 to the power 3 divided by 2. So this will cancel out. So we will be left with a b equals to minus x a a a into x a square plus 16 minus 16 v a square divided by x a square plus 16 to the power 3 divided by 2 now we want to find the acceleration of block b when x a equals to here it is given that when x a equals to 3 meters and v a equals to 4 meter per second and v b is now known so this is let me uh, copy this again so we we are given these conditions so now we have to put x a equals to 3 meters and v a equals to 4 meter per second in that equation so that will give us a b so let me write a b equals to minus x a is 3 and the acceleration of a is also given the acceleration of a is given is 2 meter per second square this is given right so let me write that the here the acceleration of a is 2 meter per second square so this is 2 and x a is again 3 square plus 16 minus 16 v a square is 4 this is 16 4 square divided by 3 3 square plus 16 to the power 3 divided by 2 so first i will find the denominator so that is minus 6 into 3 square is 9 plus 16 minus 16 into 4 square divided by 9 plus 16 uh, to the power 3 divided by 2 so this gives us acceleration equals to minus 3.25 acceleration of block b equals to minus 3.25 meter per second square so now as we can see that the acceleration of b is minus 3.25 let me write that acceleration of b 
is minus 3.25 meter per second square so now when the roller is at x a equals to 3 meters it is moving with the velocity of 4 meter per second the block b is accelerating in the upward direction the negative sign tells us this negative sign tells us that block b is accelerating in the upward direction that is in the opposite direction of x b with an acceleration of 3.2 meter per second square if this roller a is accelerating with 2 meter per second square towards the positive x a so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope this will help you in your learning do subscribe my channel for the solution of such more problems from Hippler Dynamics.